Welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I'm your host, Nick Nack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, I feel a little sloppy here, man. I've been out and about all day with the, with the missus, and we hit an antique store. And we've been in this antique store before. Actually, I've actually videotaped this place. Um, videotaped it, but I've actually shot video in there uh, here on the Plastic Planet about two years ago. It's a nice little place out in Golden, Colorado called the Brass Armadillo. Well, we were out at the Brass Armadillo, guys, and I got to tell you, this is the biggest super haul I've I think I've ever gotten at an antique store. I mean, this is massive. I'm talking massive amounts of really cool, awesome vintage goodness here, and most of it's Star Wars. So let's get on it, guys. Let's get on it right now. Check it out. This is the size of the box that they put everything in. It's ginormous. Um, yeah, I just got so much cool shit. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unload this out. I'm just basically gonna unbox this here on camera. It's gonna be like almost like a one shot kind of video thing, uh, but it'll be real quick. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what I picked up, which is incredible. Some of the stuff might need to be cleaned up a little bit. Some of the stuff is in really actually pristine condition. And just to let you guys know, I got the entire box here for just over 200 bucks. Just over 200 bucks total. Now they were running a 15% off sale, but that, you know, that pretty much takes care of sales tax and a little bit more. So uh, and that's not a huge sale, but it was still it still made a difference. But anyway, uh, let's check it out. So first up, guys, uh, not vintage, but really cool. Um, I picked up the episode one Queen Amidala action figure. I know this feels a little Barbie-ish, I know, but it's a beautiful doll. It is probably a doll, but it is incredibly awesome. That is a beautiful doll slash action figure, and uh, she will remain in the box uh, for the uh, time being. I don't see myself opening this piece. I think it just looks great in the box. Um, it just is really just made for that, I think. Uh, very, you know, very collector oriented. This came out in 1999. I remember seeing these at KB toy stores and whiff, uh, whiffing at them because I was afraid it looked too much like a damn doll. Well, guys, I've been married for over 20 years now, or not married over 20 years, been married for almost 20 years. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty secure in my sexuality at this point. So anyway, I picked up this and it is really, really cool. So she is gorgeous and glad to have her here in the collection. What else did I get, guys? Let's just keep going. Um, okay, so check this out. This is pretty cool. All right, so this is up next. This is not Star Wars related, but it is very cool. And some of you guys are going to recognize this, I think. Um... I picked up this awesome Fisher Price Adventure People van from 1970. I don't know. I don't know what the date is on this. Uh, my eyesight is terrible. I can't read it in here. But anyway, this is from the 1970s. Uh, you guys may or may not. Some of you guys may have had this if you're my age, and you know I'm obviously in my mid 40s. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is really gorgeous. So I picked up this little people van. I don't know. I spent uh seven dollars on this seven bucks on this so very cool seven dollars pretty good so uh if i didn't mention spent 40 on her seven dollars on this so again really good deals really really good deals all right you guys well, what else did i pick up well i got some uh glassware actually uh, i got two glasses and i do collect um vintage restaurant uh product, uh, you know, promotional glassware. I always think that's kind of cool. Um, they wrapped them up for me real good, but, uh, they're all the, they're both from the same film, both from McDonald's, but I picked up and eventually I'll get the whole set. These are pretty easy to collect because they're pretty, pretty, pretty common in antique stores and collectible stores. I'm sure you've seen them if you frequent those kind of areas. Ah, great Muppet Caper, uh, glass from McDonald's. So uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, um, but pretty cool. Yeah, so I picked up that one, and then I also picked up another one. And again, it's wrapped up. They wrapped. They did a great job wrapping these for me. Uh, can't I can't recommend them enough. People, the brass armadillo and gold brass armadillo in Golden, Colorado, man. Can't can't. I had just a really good time there today, and the staff was really great. So uh, they really helped me out. And I picked up this guy as well. Now I had this class as a kid. And you know, I have vivid memories of drinking Coke out of out of out of this very glass. Obviously, not this glass, but this same glass. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, nostalgia there for me. 
uh, you know, big fan of the Muppets and a big fan. Of, I don't know if that was my favorite Muppet movie ever. I actually watched it as an adult and it really didn't hold up well for me, but, uh, um, there's better Muppet movies out there than the great Muppet caper, but the glass is pretty cool. And you know, Fonzie, Gonzo and Kermit in a balloon. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, I got those two. Very nice. All right. So, so far you may not be impressed. I mean, uh, uh, but I haven't gotten into the meat of what I picked up. So, uh, let's, let's get into that right now. Here's the first thing I got that is very cool. This is number four in an limited series. Uh, the original Marvel comic book adaptation of Return of the Jedi. This is number four. Um, obviously, the uh, the uh, exciting uh, final climactic battle there. Uh, just I love the cover art on that. Going to get a, a comic book uh, comic book uh, frame for this and put it on the wall. Here's the back side of it. But anyway, very beautiful. So I got this for five dollars, under five dollars. I think it was like four bucks. So. Anyway, it was $4.95 and I had 15% off that, so I got it for under five bucks. So pretty cool. That's beautiful. Um, what else did I get? All right, so this isn't Star Wars related either, but it really kind of fits the theme here on the Plastic Planet. If you're a longtime viewer or subscriber, you kind of know what I'm about here and know why this would definitely fit into the theme of my uh, YouTube channel. And this is a Verbot or Verbot, Verbot Tomy Robot from 1984. Now I remember seeing the commercials for these as a kid and uh, it has a remote control and uh, you can program it to do some very, you know, 1980s rudimentary robot kind of things. Um, you know, it's, it, it's not as smart as Alexa or is it? But anyway, it looks really, really fantastic. You guys can see that. Um, that is really, really cool. Um, that's a beautiful, beautiful piece there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little broken on the bottom, but um, very cool. Spent $25 on him. Actually got them for under $25 because again, that 15% off uh, 4th of July Independence Day sale they're running at the antique store. So again, uh, so again, so under 25 bucks for this guy. Uh, he comes with a remote. I don't know if he works. I have no idea. I would doubt it, but uh, very beautiful. I mean, look at the, the touch pads on him, the buttons and the face. I mean, that's just beautiful. It's going to look great on a shelf downstairs in the arcade slash archive room of the Plastic Planet. And I am working on a giant, awesome 70s, 80s, 90s shelf down there. If you guys watched my last video, you guys would know that. I've actually expanded that twofold now, and I'll give you guys an update on that in a coming video. But uh, he'll, be, he'll be going down with those. Alrighty, guys. Next up, I got a bag of figures here. And I think these are all Star Wars. So let's check them out. I got a Stormtrooper, vintage 1978 Stormtrooper. A little yellowing on him. He's got a, that, that's just a little red uh, red band he's got around him where the price tag was. A little yellowing on the torso, uh, but the joints are really, really, uh, really tight. So very, very beautiful. There he is. One more shot of him for you guys. Again, I might do that, uh, that uh, hydrogen peroxide trick outside. You know, good summer day here. And we've had plenty of those here in the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. Uh, but I might try that uh, hydrogen peroxide trick to whiten him up. Uh, but uh, I'm just not going to do that today. But looking pretty cool. So I got that Stormtrooper. And I'm sorry. I spent $10 on him if I didn't mention it. $10. Bucks. I, just, I just feel like I did really awesome, guys. I just feel like I just, you know, hit the jackpot today. I found a Tauntaun. Vintage. 1980 Tauntaun. Maybe 1981. Uh, he is missing his, uh, his uh, bridle. But other than that, he is complete, I believe. Um, he does have his saddle. And uh, I think the strap even is okay on it, even though it's taped, but I think it's okay. $15. $15, again, 15% off $15. Uh, what have that, whatever, whatever that is. So under $15, so maybe like 13 bucks for him. Very cool. Uh, there's some there's some schmutz on him. I mean, some of this, this stuff, some of the stuff does need to be cleaned up a little bit. But again, really, really awesome for 15 bucks. Vintage Star Wars and vintage Star Wars on eBay right now is just, I mean, you know, it's like 80 bucks for a trashed X-Wing uh, with, with no parts. Um, it's insane what, what vintage stuff is going for on eBay these days. So this was a, this was a find at 15 bucks. So pretty cool. Uh, what else did I find? Yeah, I found another mini rig or not another mini rig. I found a mini rig. Um, this is pretty cool. This is also from the Empire Strikes Back mini rig. Um, from the Empire Strikes Back collection, I should say. This mini rig actually wasn't in the film. You know, as you guys know, the mini rigs were uh, off-screen, you know, sort of creative license uh, vehicles that uh, that uh, uh, Kenner produced just as, a, you know, as sort of a low price point, uh, little mini vehicles for kids to collect and play with. 
um, that weren't, you know, you know, major bank busters for their parents. And uh, this was part of that line and uh, very cool. Usually I think it's associated with like a ADAT driver or a snow, snow trooper. I think it's an Imperial, supposed to be an Imperial uh, vehicle. So that's pretty fun. So I picked up this guy and he was 15 as well. So under 15 bucks for this guy as well. So uh, yeah, very, very cool. What else do I got in this little grab bag of goodies, guys? Oh, I got another Imperial Stormtrooper, and I'm trying to get more Imperial Stormtroopers for my Death Star playset because it's something that is sadly lacking over here, and this one is really beautiful. Again, very tight joints on this guy and very little yellowing, actually, on him as well. So very, very nice. I've got some reproduction Stormtrooper blasters that I can give both of these guys. Um, maybe the, the first one after he takes a little hydrogen peroxide bath, but this one won't need it. Um, but yeah, very, very beautiful. Look at that. Look how good he looks. Yeah, that is nice. So anyway, 15 bucks for this one. Again, uh, yeah, 15. So under 15 actually with the 15% discount. And finally, the last figure I got, and he does have a little, uh, little ribbon around him for the price tag. Look at the C-3PO. $20 for the C-3PO. Vintage. 1978. This is not the removable limb C-3PO. Vintage, 1978. Look how immaculate his uh, his gold on him is. That vacuum, whatever gold, whatever it is. Look how beautiful he is. I mean, he just shines, guys. He shimmers. He is beautiful. Twenty bucks, twenty freaking dollars. So under twenty dollars, really. Um, you know, with the fifteen percent discount. But uh, oops, there he is. There he is. I like how good that looks. Yeah, really, really fantastic. So this was a great deal. This is one of the finds I was most, almost most excited about was this C-3PO. That's because he looks so damn good. But I'm not done, guys. I'm not done. I still got two more really awesome pieces. All right, guys, last two things I bought. These are the biggies. But I picked up, and I haven't had one of these since I was a kid. And I, it will need some restoration, maybe some repro stickers if, if I can order those if possible. But... I picked up the twin card, twin cloud car from the Empire Strikes Back from 1980. And the back decal looks pretty good. Front decal is gone, but the uh, it has both of its uh, twin cars. They're taped down right now, but the, the latches on them look, look good, both of them. So anyway, there is the twin car, cloud car from the Empire Strikes Back. How much did I pay for this? $33. $33 to 15% off that, so like 30 bucks. 30 freaking dollars, like the cost of a black series and a half. I got this today. So guys, I really fucking scored, man. I did really, really well. I don't, I don't normally, I've never had this good of luck ever stopping at a place like that. Um, you know, normally I go to antique stores and I only find, you know, old lady shit, but not today, man, not today. And I, I was going to shoot more video while I should have shot more video while I was in there, but I wasn't planning on I was just kind of going to look. I was with my wife. wasn't planning on shooting anything. But believe me, anything worth buying in there, I bought it. So, uh, yeah. I mean, there was some other cool shit there, too. But, uh, no, I didn't shoot a shoot a video in there today. And I, maybe I should have. But uh, I just, I've never had that kind of luck. So, anyway, there's the twin car, cloud car. Very, very cool. And finally, lastly. All right, guys. And lastly, this was the big ticket item that I bought. This was worth, uh, this was the most expensive item I bought. Vintage 1980 snow speeder. Now, I don't know if the electronics on it work, but it looks very complete. It's even got the back uh, harpoon grappling hook thing, although the grappling hook itself, the, the string is missing, but it does have the wraparound piece, which is usually missing. Um, the interior looks pretty good. You guys can see that. Anyway, sorry, I hope I'm not getting the ship out of the shot too much. There is the back side of it. The decals look okay. There's a little bit of schmutz here on the front. It's a little gross right there. It just maybe needs to be cleaned up. Uh, maybe maybe needs to be. Maybe I need to get some repro stickers for this. Although I won't be in a hurry to do that. But it looks really really pretty clean. Other than that, it's in really good shape. Fifty dollars again with fifteen percent off that. So you know, I don't know. I, I, maybe forty six, forty five bucks, something like that. So anyway, that's, I'm, I don't have a calculator in front of me. And I'm not a math guy, but uh, yeah, I would say, you know, just uh, just just south of $50 for him. So that was the big ticket item today. And uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, I don't know if the electronics work on this. I will be checking that out and I will up, update you guys on that in a later video. 
But yeah, did pretty fucking awesome, didn't I? Yeah, what a fucking score. Yeah. All right, so that anyway, that's it, guys. That's my haul. And uh, I think I did pretty damn well, as you guys can probably attest to as well. Um, but uh, yeah, again, all this stuff I got for about 217 bucks, 230 bucks total. Um, here's my receipt. What did I pay on this total? Yeah, $232 right there. Yeah. So anyway, um, I don't even know if my credit card information's right there. Anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, that was pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just sort of a little bit of a quick video tonight. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. All right. Well, that's going to wrap things up here on the Plastic Planet. Please like, share, comment. Please do subscribe, guys. Remember, life is also very, very, very short. So get out there and feel it with some goddamn plastic crap because I sure as hell did, guys. And I actually have a ton of more stuff from eBay to show off to you guys in a, in a, in a coming uh, video as well, guys. I've been busy here. I've been busy with the financial diarrhea, man. I got to take some KO peptide, man, because my bank account's like saying, what the fuck, knickknack? But it's all good, guys. I've been having a lot of fun. It's been a fun summer, and I hope you guys are having a fun summer too. All right, guys, like I said, it's going to wrap things up, and uh, you guys take care. Later. Love you. Bye. Bonus time! All right, you guys, uh, just a really quick bonus time. Now, I know some of you guys have, have asked in the past to get Disney Girly Girl here in a video. Well, she bought a bunch of shit today, too, <laughs> at the at the, at the, at the, at the, at the antique store, right? I sure did. Yeah, so anyway, she's going to show off her shit to you guys right now. All right, so first up, we got this piece here. Tell us about this one, babe. That is Cinderella. It's a porcelain figure from probably the 50s or 60s. Um, they were sold in the parks. It, it, there, this was sold at Disneyland in 1950. Yeah. So when Disneyland opened in 1955, this was probably sold there. Yes. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Cool. And then we have another one here. We have Snow White. Uh, same era, same selling point. So she was probably she was also probably sold in Disneyland in 1955. Yeah. Cool. Now, how much were each of these? So they were each nine dollars. So she was nine dollars, and she was nine dollars. Yes. So you did pretty good. Did pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now the last one. Now this is Alice in Wonderland. It is not a Disney figure. It's not a Disney figure. No. Um, it's more like a Lewis Carroll kind of thing. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. Yes, but she's in good shape, and she has all her fingers which is the important part here. Oh, uh, she, she's waving. Right there. Yeah, and those fingers tend to break. Yes. Okay. And she was $30. So you spent $30 on her. So so all three of these you got for under 50. Yes. That's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, all right, so what else did you get? Alrighty, babe, so what the hell is this? This is an awesome clock. This clock is just awesome because it does this. Oh, where does it do it? There. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> it's, that's so warm feeling. It's, it's, it's just, and it's working too. You guys can yeah. see the, the second hand moving. Do you know how old this thing is by chance? No idea. I would assume since it's plastic that it's probably the 40s. Okay. And by the shape of the numbers. I would guess. Yeah. 40s, maybe 50s. Yeah. Let's see the back side of it. So you guys can see it does plug in. And you guys can see the, the little, little glow of it behind it. Is there, a, is there a stamp on there? No, it's very dusty. No stamp, see no time stamp on this. Anyway guys, if any, well, there's something there. It says Clock and Radio Company, Chicago, Illinois. This is made in America. And I'm not seeing the date on it. Nope. Maybe. It's cool. Uh, 5, 10, 55 maybe? Oh, very cool. Maybe, maybe. So maybe this was made in the 50s. Anyway, very cool. If you guys if you guys are antique people and know anything about this shit, let us know. But anyway, there it is. Very cool. And you got one more piece. Let's check it out. All right. So this is like some antiques roadshow motherfucking <laughs> shit here. What is this, babe? This is a lithograph print of some guys, some guys. driving in the mountains. So we live in Colorado, guys. So mountains are a big fucking deal for us. Yeah, they're driving down the mountains next to a bubbling brook, a little river-ish. Okay, now there was a reason why you wanted to buy this because everything has everything in the plastic planet we, we always have a rationale for why we buy shit what was yours for this one so way back in the olden times i guess in the 1920s my great grandfather helped stock the reservoir in red cliff colorado with trout he and his buddies so they got trout from the what was equivalent of the game and fish so the trout hatchlings the hatchlings yes yeah. they were kept in a big old barrel that they had to bury overnight so the bears wouldn't get them <laughs> and then they drove around and stocked 
all of the little waterways that they could. That is awesome. And you just pictured them driving around in a little, like, like Model A yeah. car. Yeah. Just chunk along doing what dudes do. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, we're gonna have to hang this someplace awesome. That is a absolutely beautiful, beautiful painting. So, and how much you pay for this, babe? <laughs> Ninety-five dollars. That's not bad. That's not not bad. bad. Not bad. Awesome. Where is he? Right here, by the Keep going right and go up. See where he is? Right there. Oh, there he is. There's our chipmunk. There's our mountain chick chipmunk in our backyard. He is cute. We're all the way zoomed in on the mountain chipmunk in our backyard. You see it, man? <laughs> she can't, she can't. Go kill it, man. Kill the mountain chipmunk. <laughs> She'll never get it. She'll never get it. <laughs>